Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video, and we are back with Sims 4 Rex to Riches with the extra challenges. For right now, we're basically going to be watching just little snippets of my week in the game that I have to play with my part-time job before I can continue on to the second room. So that's pretty much all that's really happening in this moment, so I'll just kind of let it play for a little bit, and then I'll come back when we catch up. Try to make you stay, but I just my love wasn't enough. Because if we all wasn't enough, there's a dying to know. Why do you wanna end? Was it real or just pretend? Tell me why do you wanna end? Was he really just a friend? No sign of you at all Just pictures on these walls Reminding me of how you Was it real or just pretend? Tell me why do you wanna end? Was it really just a friend? Cause it's playing in my head every word that you said I ain't worked it out yet. 
So we have completed the one week at our part-time job. So I just wanted to put in a small uh, time lapse, pretty much, of me building the add-on to the house, the extra room that we can now do. And then I wanted to explain that once we complete this room, it's not a very long time lapse, so once we complete the room, we can buy one money-making item that we would like to focus on. But it has to be skill-based, so you can do like candle making, um, I chose candle making because I hate myself, uh, heart, uh, no, <sighs> woodworking, that's the word. You could do other things like that, like you could even buy a computer, like a desk and computer and make books and stuff or do programming, I don't care. Whatever you choose, that's just how it would work. But it could keep in mind that that would alter what you're allowed to do in the future as well, based off of some of the rules that I've created farther down the line. So we have... Yeah, so i chosen the candle making, which requires me to have a recycler, which I don't realize that for a little while, so we're going to see me uh, fail to figure out how to make this. I figured it out eventually, don't worry guys. But it is horrible, because I'm like, what? why? I read that entire thing, and I was like, oh, just buy materials and I can use it. No, I didn't realize that like when it meant I need bits and pieces, I meant it means like actual bits and pieces from the uh, eco-living lifestyle pack. Which, my bad. Good thing I have a trash can, I guess. But I end up buying a recycler a little farther down. I think I edited it out before. It might just randomly pop up in one of the clips. So Just so you know. But, oh well, I guess. But on top of that, so since I chose candle making and if you were to choose like woodworking or something that is makes something tangible like those two items you're gonna have to get a seller's table as well because we're selling everything we make from those on the seller's table and that stays true throughout the entire rest of the challenge you cannot like progress to another point and you can sell stuff in your inventory it's not gonna be like the paintings and stuff like that, so that's just that. For this, I have also put in that we're allowed to update our character. Anything but tattoos and jewelry, because while we do have some money, we don't have enough that I believe you can spend on the small things like that. But I completely updated my character, and I do put in here in just a second, you'll see it. There it goes. I didn't realize she had, um leg hair and arm hair. I end up shaving that off a little bit after this because it looked horrible while I was trying to create her um, outfits, which go me. My fault. But it's okay. And then after this, so it says at this point you need to start with a third room. So if you don't have enough money to make the third room immediately, save up money and build the third room and that'll be the next section of the challenge. So the third room is dedicated for the bathroom specifically so it has to be at least two by three. Has to have a shower, sink, toilet, door, and window. Uh, then I put lighting is recommended but not required. So if you don't have that much money and you don't want to waste money by adding in lights, don't do it. I don't mind. I don't care, it's your challenge, pretty much. And then, But I will explain that once you build that third room, for me, I didn't have fully enough money to build the third room because I did stuff for the candle making. So this is me sitting and trying to make enough money and using my candle maker to get this going to make the money that I need to build the bathroom. But after you build the bathroom, I have a new 
um, requirement for the challenge. And this requirement is you need 5,000 simoleons in your reserve at all times. So what I mean by that is the bit that's below your character where it shows how much money you have. You need to have 5,000 there at all times after you build the bathroom. If you don't have it to that point, like if you build the bathroom and you're down to like 1,000 or 2,000, that's fine. Try to build it up as fast as you can. I recommend you try to get it in 24 hours, but if you don't have it before this, it's not going to be held against you. But once you reach that 5,000 mark, you have to have that from now on or you do not continue on with the challenge. The challenge is completely reset. Because this is one of the things that I believe would be the most challenging is keeping that money in there at all times. I think I dropped out of that money range twice when I made this challenge and I was able to get it back up in 24 hours. As you can see right now, I don't believe I have 5,000, but that's because I was making up this rule while I was doing these this filming. So I went ahead for setting up for the next time I record, I went ahead and made a bunch more rules and read through them and made sure that we're good. But I made this up while I was recording. So I think I realized it after I got to like 6,000, I was like, oh, I should put this challenge in to make it even harder for people. So that's why. But I also don't have the bathroom yet, so it's not a big deal. It is only after you build the bathroom, the third room, that you need to have 5,000 coins. And I'm about to put in a little like disclaimer down at the bottom about that, I believe. I don't know, I'm just kind of recording after I typed all this out. Okay, yeah, so th this is just the bathroom. I put a little speed in because it took me a little while to build it because I kept moving stuff around. But now I believe we're getting to a point where we're having like a proper little home and I think it's really cute. And yes, I do fix the roofing situation. I did that for the last one. I Also, I just didn't include it in the video. So, we have now built the bathroom while we're currently building it. After that, the 5,000 simoleons range point is in place and we have to have it at all times. I think I end up buying all this stuff and then I think I put the challenge in at this point in time and I bought all this stuff and I'm like, crap, I'm going to be under it. Oh well, let's continue. Did you just wake up? Oh, you were listening. <laughs> I thought you woke up while I was talking. I was like, hello. <laughs> no, in the game. I was I was explaining this to you while I was recording this too. Do you remember that? Yeah, I just got going, didn't I? Yeah, just you just remembered it because I didn't have my audio on. <laughs> okay, so once you have three rooms, a bathroom, and two others, you can use them however you please. If mine is a bedroom and workspace, and then there's a kitchen and dining room space, you can do whatever you want with it. I don't mind. As long as you have the required essentials that we had at the beginning and the bathroom separation, that is fine with me. Do whatever you want with these rooms. So, doo -doo -doo. now that you have the bathrooms, or the bathroom, the rooms, and your 5,000 monies, you need to keep that for the rest of the time. We'll add in more of the money making challenges as we go i'm putting this little like small disclaimer down at the bottom so you know what i'm talking about um so you may start dating at this point you saw earlier in the clip i was trying to make friends that's because i was trying to get to a point where i could start dating quickly because i don't have as much time because the lifespan is on normal but you cannot move anyone in until you have built one more room. The moving in a partner is not to make money. They are allowed to have a job and whatever and have income once they move in. But if you're moving like a townie in from a different household, you have to move them in with zero money coming in. 
that is part of the challenge. You don't want to try to cheat on getting the money. Um, but you may take as much time as you would like to find a partner. But you, but make sure you have the fourth room regardless of your decision. If you decide not to get a partner, that's fine. Then continue on. But you do need to build a fourth room before you really continue on. Or you can decide to get a partner. So you build a fourth room and then move them in. You After you get that fourth room built, you may start, get a full-time job. So get rid of your part-time job and get a full-time job. And now that'll be whatever you want. You can do ones that you go into the career. You can do ones where you're a freelancer and stay at home all the time. I don't mind what you do. This is your choice. As long as it makes some form of money. And then once you get past that point, you the next requirement for money having in your uh, reserve is 8000 You must have 8000 in your reserve at all times or you have 24 hours to get it up to that point. And if you don't get it up to that point, then you restart the challenge. That is all the rules that I'm going to go over in this current video. But let me know what you think so far. And if you would like to see all the rules in like a whole document or whatever, tell me how to do that and I will do it and I will put it in our- I'll link it down below in the description. But this is my challenge so far. I have gotten to the point where I can now start looking for a partner. I need 5,000 money, but I am currently about to save money up to build another room. I'm going to try to get to that 8,000 mark and then build another room and continue on.